guys, welcome back. This is Mavis here with you, and today we are on the Ground Fox server. And I first want to start off by saying thank you to everyone who um, left a comment or um, just watched the last video that I put up. Um, it was pretty pretty raw. It was a it was a very very difficult video for me to put up, and I just really want to say thank you from the bottom of my heart. Um, I didn't reply to anybody's comments on that video. I don't think I did. Um, just because I don't, I didn't know what to say to everybody. I didn't want to say the same thing over and over again because all I can say is thank you. Um, I feel like that, being able to share that with everybody really helped me, um, and will continue to help me through everything. Um, I'm doing okay, so that's good. Um, I've kind of taken a little bit of break from YouTube and from recording. Um, I have been spending some time, um, I was actually off work for a little over a week and I spent quite a, a bit of time here on the Ground Fox server and just kind of using this as a happy place to be. And I say the word happy place loosely, uh, just kind of trying to channel my energy into something creative and, um, trying to stay busy and keep my mind off things. And that kind of seemed to help as well, too. So I'm glad I had that opportunity. And I have a little wall here <laughs> built in front of me. Um, so enough of the sappy, s sad stuff. I just really want to say thank you guys. And I really appreciate everybody who had something kind to say to me. I, I really appreciate it. You really have no idea. Um, so let's let's get some business going here. Uh, I'd like to show you guys a little bit of the stuff that I've been working on uh, this week. And let's take this down real quick. I don't need this anymore. And my cat is behind me and he's protesting. What? Shush. Okay, so, um, now he's poking me. <laughs> Stop it. <laughs> um, I have been working on a secret little project. It's not secret. It's just I didn't do any of this on camera. So it's secret to you guys. Um, this is going to be my bedroom area and, um, it's still a work in progress. Yawning, I haven't recorded in a long time. <laughs> um, let's, let's take a look here. I'm still working on this. I don't know if I'm going to do much more today on this. Um, still not a huge, I'm not sold, I should say, on this. I think this is gray clay, but it looks brown. It looks like poop to me. And I'm not sure if this is what I'm feeling for this area. I'm not sure what color I want to use here. Um, this is okay. I was just trying to go with something neutral, but I'm really enjoying the glass here. I thought about putting some green glass going with, I think this is cyan glass, and then doing some lime green glass. Um, but I wanted to kind of keep the view pure, uh, or at least semi-pure. So I went with the white glass. Uh, Wear Muffet actually came over and saw this place a couple days ago, the last time I was on, and said he liked this area, but he thinks that it should have some supports. And I kind of agree with him. <coughs> Sorry, joking on myself. I agree. So I'm going to try to maybe come up with a way to put some supports in here, maybe some more glass. Um, but it's going to be like a giant glass pillar that goes all the way down, and I don't know if I really like that idea, but we'll we'll see. I need a drink. And of course, I got a giant ice cube in that drink. Thank you for trying to kill me on camera here. Yeah, I made a bunch of lime green glass, but I have not used it. Uh, let's put some stuff away that we're not needing right off the bat here. That'll work. I have lots of ender pearls on me. I didn't realize that. Okay, let's go take a look. So I've got a water drop here. I've got a, a portal. I'm afraid to go through this portal because... The other night, Wholesale Virus was on, and he was streaming, and I was watching a stream, and um, he, I invited him to come check out my builds, and I showed him around a little bit, and he angered some pigmen in the nether, and they came through here at one point, and it started attacking me, and I murdered their faces, and now I'm afraid to go back into the nether, so one of these days, I'll have to buck up the courage and head back in there. So here's a little uh, window. Uh, I used some light gray glass, and I just kind of think this is a nice um, 
change of scenery here. It's halfway covered up with water and half not covered up with water. I kind of like that. And then just your typical storage room. Uh, everything's labeled very fancily. I'm very organized sometimes. Uh, I broke a painting over here, so let's get that fixed real quick. Uh, is there anything in this chest? No. I have been working on um, enchanting some books just because I get I was slightly bored and just wanted to do some stuff. Uh, let's see if we can get the proper painting here. Will that work? Yes, that'll work. Okay. So then this is another room. I had these doors here because pigmen kept coming in and just hanging out. And I don't like pigmen. They're evil little bastards. Um, I have paintings here and there are pumpkins behind them for light. And then this room. I started off with just like a basic pattern here in the glass. And then Wearmuffin came over and kind of helped me add in some um, of the gray glass just to kind of break up the pattern a little bit because it was just orange and white, basically. Um, so I can dig this. This is nice. Um, got some lighting in there as well. And then he just kind of threw up some lighting. And I haven't done anything with it yet. I need to, I need to try to figure out some lighting for the, ce the ceiling. But um, use some stairs uh, to just kind of give this wall some texture. And I'm enjoying that. And then I've got paths kind of laid out here. And this is what that area kind of looks like from the outside. Uh, so there's this path. And then I need to finish, like, connect this area. I haven't talked this much in a long time. Gosh, sorry. So I think that the yawning is more a lack of oxygen. And my body's trying to make up for that. Um, you can see here kind of the side of that area. Um, I kind of want to maybe, uh, uh, let's see, uh, how do I want to do this? I need to get over there. Okay, let's, come on, give me a good throw, land, good place, okay. Yeah, I don't like how you can see that, um, clay right there. I kind of want to cover that up. And of course, it's getting nighttime already. Okay, let's try to get... Uh, that's sort of perfect. Yeah, that'll work. Okay. Um, that's all covered on that side. That's fine. And the glass sticking out on this side is okay. I'm not adverse to that. But I want this to be covered up. Yeah, I really, I have, I have been in love with this area for a long time. Where Muffin actually found this area when we first started this map, he found the Hobbit Hole. That's what I call my little house over there. Um, he found that because I, I love flower forests, the flower biomes, and he found that, and um, I set up shop there, and yeah, okay, yeah, we need a support or something. I don't know, maybe I can build out from the wall, but I just don't want to obstruct my glass view. I kind of like that it's there. Let me know what you guys think about that. I'd like to hear what your opinion is. And I like that little room right there because the, the color of the glass kind of blends in with the side of the mountain and you can't really tell that it's glass there. It's kind of cool. I like it. I just put some pumpkins down there, but I ended up going over to wear muffins because he is like right through the fire that way, like over in the desert. Um... And he has a huge farm set up, so I just went over there and uh, harvested a bunch of pumpkins for lighting and stuff. Uh, so yeah, that's the outside. I think it looks nifty. I kind of like the fire. We'll see if I keep that. I don't know. We'll see. I've got a farm down here uh, for some cows, and there's some chickens in there. And I've just been breeding them up. I've got a lot of torches around this place, but it's better than having a bunch of mobs. So I'm going to live with that for now. Luckily, I haven't had a bunch of mobs spawning up there, which I should probably light up anyways, just to prevent creepers from bombing me. Um, this is the area that I kind of set up to have as um, just my, you know, starting off point from here. Um, these chests are now empty. I've got a mine shaft down there that's been pretty generous to me. Uh, I don't have an inner chest over here anymore, but I've, I've gathered quite a few diamonds from down there. I got some chickens in here. Hey guys, how's it going? They probably need slaughtered soon. Um, let's 
get some more going here. Poor little chickens smashing their faces off the rocks. Okay, let's go out front. It's dark and we're probably going to get bombarded by mobs, but that's okay. Now that I feel like I said something, I feel like I'm going to get... Yep, look, there's a creeper. Let's see if I can hit him. Oh, yeah. Oh, no, I did not hit him. My cat is going crazy and playing with this scratching post thing. Okay, I don't see where the creeper went. So let's just, we'll knock on the desk <laughs> and call it a day. So I've got this really cool gate here. Um, this is the first thing I built when I came over here. And it was mostly because I was scared. And I didn't want things coming through here. But I've liked this like entrance. It was kind of, I, I, I kind of built it out a little bit, um, but it was already kind of in this shape to begin with, sort of, a little bit. Uh, I'm scared. It's nighttime. Um, I don't have any lighting in there, and I'm thinking about maybe trying to figure out a way to put some lighting in without doing torches, so I don't know. We'll, we'll see, but I really like this area. Um, Where Muffin was talking about me maybe rounding off the orange here, but I can't do stairs with this stuff, and I really wanted to keep that kind of like I don't know, not using more stone. So we'll see about that as well. I just have a bunch of trees planted out here um, to farm this kind of stuff. And that's really basically it. Um, so over that way, if you can see the mycelium, that is where Muffin land. Um, out here we have a guardian temple, uh, the ocean monument, whatever they call them. And then let's run over to this hillside over on this side. Uh, the Hobbit Hole is just a um, ender pearl away. It's right over there. You can see my portal. And then if you go back over that way, that's where the cows are over around that side. And yeah, so I'm, I really love this area. Let's actually run back up to the bedroom area real quick. Um, and my ender por portals are like right next to each other. They're like, I, I hop out of the, the portal here and I'm basically at the hobbit hole. So it's nice to be able to travel back and forth between these two places in the nether. But right now I don't trust the nether. The nether is a pretty hostile place. I'm afraid. Um, I'm not really sure how, what, like, I don't know how pigmen behave. I'm not a specialist when it comes to that. Um, and they scare me. They scare the crap out of me. So I'm not going to mess with them really. Uh, so let's run up here because I want to show you guys. I kind of want to make this place, like, maybe, like, try to dig through the mountains and connect all the different, like, little valleys and gullies and stuff. Uh, but we'll see if I'm able to figure that out. Uh, let's break the glass here. And, of course, I don't have a ladder right here. Uh, so we'll do this. I need to get some more ladders. Make it just a proper way to get up here. And it's nighttime. Why am I doing this at night? I should go sleep. Yeah, let's sleep. Let's actually move our bed. Oh, crap. Crap! Okay. That'll work. Beautiful. Um, just for now, to be safe, let's, let's move that. And the bed, which I'll probably move again. Stick it in here. Is that about centered? Yeah, just about. That'll work. Okay, let's get rid of the night. Although the night would have been pretty, probably. That's all right. So yeah, I'm probably going to cut this short here in a minute. I'll uh, just kind of show you guys around the outside of this place, and then I'm going to probably go do some work. Um, or maybe just get this video ready to, um, release to you guys. Uh, this week I have another, um, Minecraft video that I'm going to be releasing. Um, some of my really good friends here on Ground Fox, um, Buncey and Moj made me a map and it was just kind of, I think to kind of show me that they love me. <laughs> Um, I try to get my mind off of things, so um, you guys can have that to, uh, please expect that coming up this week. Um, I'm hoping to release that um, Thursday, hopefully. 
uh, I just have to work on a thumbnail actually and then that video should be ready but I want to put this video up first to kind of say thank you to everybody and then start getting back into having a little bit of fun because I need I need some fun in my life um, so yeah there's this just this whole mountain area is just amazing I don't know what I want to do with it all I don't know if I want to be able to like, like even think about trying to conquering all of it but I want to just be able to have access to it maybe be able to walk around a little bit better uh that type of thing uh no don't fall on the edge uh let's see there's this little valley over here too over there is a desert that i have been using to um what is going on here uh harvest sand and i found a temple that was buried uh, in the sand so that was cool, but that was, that's been a long time ago. I don't even know. I, pr I probably showed that on camera. I have no idea. I don't know. But yeah, this place is just amazing. It's one of the, the coolest formations I have ever seen in Minecraft. It's one of my favorite for sure. Has been since we started this map. Look at these ledge cows. You're like goats. Weird, crazy cows. All right, so you guys have seen the project that I'm working on. Um, hopefully I can incorporate some 1.9 stuff in it, like some of the new blocks and things. I don't even know much about 1.9. I haven't really paid much attention. I know some of the different changes that they're doing in the end and all that stuff. Um, I'm pretty sure that we have decided that we're not going to reset the map, so that's why I've been kind of pouring some time into this place, because uh, I love it and I want to stay here. So... Hopefully we'll be able to incorporate some things once the update comes, and I totally missed. I'm going to be a ledge cow now, too. Alrighty. So, yeah. Thank you guys again. Thank you so much for all of your support. Always. You have no idea what it means to me. Um, I love this channel, and I love you guys. I love my viewers. I love all of you. You guys are awesome. So, thank you guys for watching, and thank you for your support, and I will see you soon.